Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing two easy DIYs. The first one is a book sleeve to hide your video games, and the second one is a old pillow upcycle. The first DIY is going to be a book sleeve for your video games. I like to keep mine out on my media cabinet, but they don't always look so nice, so this helps make everything look super organized. What you'll need for this DIY is books need to get hardcover books. I got mine from the thrift store because they're cheap. The number of books you get depends on the amount of games you have. I got three books and you want to get ones that have kind of cool titles or match your house. They also need to be around the same size for this to work and I kind of spent a while at the thrift store taking off covers and making sure everything looked nice together so don't be afraid to do that. For this next part, we're going to be tearing these books up a little bit, so if you like books a lot, this might be hard for you to watch. So you're going to need an X-Acto knife, and I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is a perfectionist way, and the other is the lazy way. The first is a perfectionist way, which is you're just going to take your X-Acto knife and slowly but surely cut out every single page. You get about 10 pages at a time with this method. It just takes a lot longer, but it looks prettier. The next way is you're just going to score the top with your X-Acto knife, making a little cut and then tearing from there. This takes so much less time and you can just kind of clean up your little rippy bits at the bottom with your X-Acto knife, scoring and tearing away. Most of these pages will just tear away. And this method makes more of a mess, but it takes a lot less time. Just make sure that you don't cut into the spine of your book because that's what's going to be facing outward. And this is a mess, so make sure you're doing this somewhere where you can get paper scraps everywhere. I have a lot of extra paper, so I was thinking about shredding it down and making new paper. It's super important to me that my projects aren't wasteful, which is why I try to use secondhand stuff. And there's a ton of great paper making videos on YouTube if you want to use your scraps to make paper as well. After you're done hollowing out your books, they should look similar to this with some paper left along the spine to give it structure. You want to line up your books the way you want them organized because we're going to start cutting the covers. After you get your books lined up in the correct order, you're going to cut off the front cover of your bottom book, leaving an inch of cover. We're going to use that inch later on in the video. I used the colored stripe as a guide because it was about an inch into the cover and it was an easy straight line for me to follow. And you're just going to want to score the cover until, with your X-Acto knife until the cover just bends off and be careful because X-Acto knives are sharp and they will find your fingers. I've only cut myself like once really badly with the X-Acto knife but that's all it takes. Once you do it you're like oh shit I fucked up and I should have been more careful. So now hopefully you've got your front cover off and you have an inch left over. We're gonna be gluing here, so that's why you need this inch. Next, you're gonna wanna take your middle book and cut the front and back covers off, leaving an inch on each side as well. It will look weird, but stick with me. I promise that's how it's supposed to be. Even when I was doing this DIY, I was like, oh man, did I just, did I mess it up? Did I do something wrong? But no, you didn't do anything wrong. Cut both covers off your middle book. And lastly, for your third and final book, you're only going to want to cut off the bottom back cover, leaving an inch as well. I'm sorry, I don't think I recorded this, but you guys don't want to see me cut another book cover off. It's kind of boring. After you've cut all your books, glue along the inch of cover you left while you were cutting. Glue each book to each other and make sure they're all facing the right way. You don't want to have upside down books on your bookshelf. I use regular glue, but most any glue should work, and I just clamp them together with my alligator hair clips, but you can use anything you want. If you notice in this clip, you can see these little pink lines I have. Those are from my middle book cover. I left them in because I thought that they would look good for some reason, and they don't, so I cut them off, so they are unnecessary. Leave your books to dry for a couple of hours and then remove your clips or whatever you have holding them together. Now we're going to add the games because this DIY is basically done. And those are the pink things that I cut off that I'm some for some reason showing you. So you're going to stick your games in. 
I like to space them out per book just because I'm weird, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then you're done. Then you have all of your games and it doesn't even look like you have games. It looks like you're a cultured person who reads books, but instead you had just hollowed them out for video games. The next DIY is really just an old pillow upcycle. I had some ugly pillow covers I bought off Amazon and I didn't want them to go to waste so I used some fabric pins, I'll link them below. And first I wanted to test them out to see how well they worked and it turned out that they are amazing and I love them and you can literally doodle on anything. So next I grabbed my pillow cover. This one already has some marks on it because I tried to use India ink on it before I thought to buy the fabric markers and PS India ink does not work. So don't do it. I'm tracing my previous design with my black fabric pen and it's working out a lot better as you can tell. The design was inspired by a pillow I saw at Urban Outfitters and I thought that the design would be really easy to recreate. Next I just flip the pillow over and do the same design on the back. I'm just freehanding this but you can use a stencil or a ruler if you'd like. The markers don't dry very fast so be mindful of that when you're putting your hand down because you can like just transfer bits of black onto your pillow if you're not careful. So I have two of these plain white pillow covers that I got off Amazon and I thought a while about what I would do for the second one and ultimately I just decided to do the same design but with the eye winking so it's just a closed eye instead of an open eye. I thought that those would go nice together on my couch. And I used a plate and a ruler on this one to help me keep my lines straight and like the plate to match the curvature of the eye. And I really like the way that these turned out. This DIY was less of a DIY, literal DIY. It's more of just like an inspiring thing. If you have some extra pillows laying around and you don't know what to do with them, just grab some fabric pins and start doodling. You never know what you can get out of it. Thanks for watching. I hope that these inspired you. If you want to see me do other crafts, just leave some comments down below. I will totally do them. Thanks!